Good evening chess fans and today I've got another odds game for you. This time it's Paul Morphy against a relatively strong player, James Thompson. Now I've done a bit of research and apparently Morphy was losing 3-0 to this guy before he played this game where he turned things around. So let's have a look what he played. Again, white has a knight missing on b1 as you can see. So Morphy's given that up. So Morphy's playing white and he kicked off with 1f4 here. He's usually an e4 player but without the knight on c3 to protect it, f4 seems like a good strategy. Thompson played d5 and now Morphy played e3, trying to get the black squares in the centre. Knight f6 from Thompson and now knight f3 from white. He played bishop g4, pinning the knight on f3 and after h3 takes, takes... Uh, Black actually has a relatively nice game. I guess the right thing to do would be to swap piece off since Black does have more material. Thompson played c5, dominating the centre. And Morphy played b3. e6. Black's got a nice structure here. And Morphy played bishop b2, obviously gaining all these nice squares to rain his bishop down on. And now knight to e4. But I think knight e4 was a, a bit of a mistake. I think black's plan here was actually to play queen h4 check. So after castles and queen h4, black's plan was to play knight to f2, but it doesn't work because bishop b5 check, knight c6 blocks it. And now d, after d3 and knight to f2, black thinks that he's uh, forks these two pieces, these two rooks. But actually g3 and white is now better because the queen's attack has got to move and after that the queen will take the knight so that would be unfortunate but after castle's queen side black didn't play queen h4 he actually played knight to c6 developing learning the error of his ways as you will d3 was played by morphy and now knight to d6 from thompson morphy grabs the queen side with g4 and black now actually strikes in the center with d4 so undermining this e3 pawn but the consequence of d5 is that the white squares now are a bit more free. So Morphy plays logical move bishop to g2. Queen c7, developing another piece. And rook h e1. White's got all his pieces into the game. He still is a piece down, but he's doing the best he can. Rook to c8, striking down on this c file where the king is. So that's obviously a good plan at the moment. But here Morphy played c4, trying to blockade it. And here Thompson actually played b5. I wonder why he didn't play d takes c3 though. Maybe after bishop takes and knight b5, I would think this was really good for black. Because this is pawn's been attacked. This pawn is, even though it's protected by the rook. And maybe after king b1, queen a5. Black's got quite a good attacking edge here. So maybe after rook d2, then what comes? Maybe knight b5. Yeah, I, I would think this is good for black, so I'm not surpri I'm surprised he didn't take it straight away. So after c4, though, he played b5. Still, this is quite dangerous. And here, Morphy played king to b1. Another option here is to play queen takes c6 and trade off everything, but I don't think white really wants this. After queen takes, 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 well, white can win a pawn, but it still is a piece down. He wins a pawn on d4, but it's still not enough, so king b1 was played. Here, Thompson continued the attack with a5, launching all these queenside pawns up the board. And Morphy now takes on d4, c takes d4, and now c takes b5, knight takes b5, and rook c1. Now, Morphy has a good attack against this queen. The knight is threatened by three pieces and defended by two. And for this reason, he played knight b a7 to protect it. And rook c4 was played. Maybe threatening to play bishop takes d4. And then we can attack the a7 knight because this knight on c6 is still pinned by this rook. Now here Thompson played queen to d6, getting off uh, the c file. But bishop b4 was another good move. And after rook e c1, black can now play bishop c3. And after takes, takes, takes again. Castles is just fine for black because after rook takes c6, knight takes c6. Rook takes, queen takes, queen takes, rook takes, bishop takes, rook d8. Black is now only the exchange up, but he's in a winning endgame position. And black should be able to convert this. 
However, Thompson played queen d6. Still black is slightly better here. But now they can increase the pressure of rook e c1. And now he's got two rooks and the queen and bishop all attacking this knight. So king d7, using the king to defend it. More if he play bishop takes d4 here. And now if knight takes, there comes queen b7, where black is actually lost because after, let's say, king e8, comes rook takes c8, check. And after knight takes, rook takes, it's game over because queen d8, we'll just take rook takes and white is material ahead. So after bishop takes d4, black now played queen to b8, protecting the c8 rook. Now Morphy played rook takes c6, knight takes c6 was played. And Morphy recaptured again with the rook. And obviously if rook takes c6 again, queen takes c6 is just winning for white. Because for king, let's say d8, bishop b6 is just a killer. So after rook takes c6, queen a8 was also another option here. Because after rook takes, black can now actually take the queen and take the rook afterwards. So this is quite an even game though. So Morphy's done well to regain He's the exchange down, but he's done well to sort of get into this position. Instead, though, bishop to a3 was played by Thompson. Maybe trying to double these rooks, connect these rooks, and also rook c1 is quite a dangerous threat if the rook on the c file ever moves. Here, Morphy tries to open up with f5. However, this wasn't the best move. Something like bishop takes g7 was given by Stockfish. But still after f5, uh, black can now take on c6. After queen takes c6, king e7. f takes, f takes, bishop c5, takes, takes, and queen d6. Uh, black is now the exchange up, and should have a relatively simple game from this position. Instead though, Thompson actually played rook h, e8 here. And Morphy took on e6 with check, and recaptured with the pawn. Morphy now grabs another pawn, bishop takes g7. And here Thompson missed his final opportunity to equalise actually. He played, he should have played queen to b4 in this position. And after bishop to c3, takes, 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 queen to b7 and king to d6. We get into queen a6, king e7, queen a7, king f8 and queen to e3 to stop rook c1 checkmate. So after this position, black is actually slightly better. He's got two rooks to the queen, and both players of opposite coloured bishops. Um, it's not an easy game by any means to win this end game, but it, it was his relatively last chance. Instead, he played in this position, he played queen to h2, which I think puts the queen a bit offside. I don't know why he would play that move. Obviously, maybe he thought queen to g8 was quite good. But here, um, white played a good move. He played queen f2. And now let's say if rook ever takes this on c6, he won't do this, but bishop takes with check and uh, the queen will take the queen on the next move. So after queen f2, Thompson actually put his queen straight back. He played queen to b8. But now Morphy mops up. He plays queen to d4, check. The bishop blocks. And now this is a great move. We play rook to b6. So again, rook to b6. Attacking the queen, and now queen to c7. But now comes, have you seen it? Rook to b7, pinning the queen against the king. So queen takes b7 is forced, bishop takes b7, and rook c7 to move away from the bishop. And in comes bishop to e5, and the game is now over. Queen takes d6 is coming, and there's no way to stop it. So again, that was a really interesting game. Morphy, a piece down from the start, managed to claw his way back into the game. And judging by other commentators, Thompson is actually a really strong player, so Morphy did quite well. And he actually ended up winning the match by winning this game. So this was the first game he won, surprising his opponent with 1f4. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this match, and I'll bring you some more good chess content soon. Thank you very much.